Now, the, 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 the uh, phrase cure of souls is a very old uh, English expression. Uh, when, when a priest would take a parish, it was said that he was given the cure of souls in that particular area. area. Um, so, uh, in English, the word curate refers to this old use of the word cure. Uh, and also a French curé for a priest. Uh, the word means care. Actually, the care of souls, taking care of souls. But also, I like the modern sense of cure, making well. Uh, so, um, in one sense, uh, this course is about uh, what uh, ISKCON is supposed to be about uh, curing souls of contamination of material existence and returning the souls to the association of Krishna. Uh, uh, and, uh, but this is um, going to be a little peculiar because I'm going to be using uh, the work of a Christian thinker uh, named uh, Anton T. Boysen, B-O-I-S-E-N. Um, Boysen is an American who was born in 1876 and died in 1965. He lived a very long time. That's because Actually, he was a strict Brahmachari all his life. Um, and um, why I'm going to use Boysen will explain in the course of uh, discussion. Uh, but uh, I happen to discover uh, Boysen. His, uh, this is his uh, first book, The Exploration of the Inner World, uh, subtitled... Um, a study of mental disorder and religious experience, uh, which published first in 1936. Uh, it's been reprinted a couple of times. Now, this is actually the second uh, edition, the 52 edition. There's the 36 edition, 52. We're in the Harper Torch book sometime in the 60s. Then the uh, University Press printed it. But now, unfortunately, it's out of print. It's, it's not available. Uh, it'll probably come back in print sometime. Because this is often regarded as a classic in the psychology of religion. Uh, I have a second book of uh, Boysen called Religion in Crisis and Custom. I managed to photocopy. Uh, I picked these up. I searched secondhand bookstores all over for copies. This is his autobiography, Out of the Depths, his autobiographical study of mental disorder and religious experience. And then I found uh, this, uh, Problems in Religion and Life, a manual for pastors. Uh, and then what is in print is a collection of his articles called Vision from a Little Known Country, a Boys and Reader. Uh, Boysen is regarded as the uh, founder of what's called uh, uh, clinical pastoral training, uh, or education rather, clinical pastoral education. Uh, that is to do with the, with the uh, pastoral care of mentally ill people. And uh, there's an association that carries on this work and uh, so on. However, I'm not, this course is not about the pastoral care of mentally ill people, unless we consider all of us, of course, fundamentally crazy. Uh, what happened to Boysen is in uh, 1920, he uh, had a schizophrenic episode, put him in a mental hospital. He came out of the episode. Um, couldn't convince anybody he was okay. Had to stay in the hospital for another almost a year. 
looked at uh, his fellow patients to see what some of them were going through. And he came to the conclusion that what he was undergoing, which was diagnosed as schizophrenia, in those days the term was dementia praecox, um, was actually uh, a spiritual crisis. And that um, other people had gone through similar spiritual crises, such as uh, St. Paul, uh, maybe even Jesus, uh, George Fox, uh, and in this book he uh, deals with some of them. Uh, breaking up of the inner world and putting it back together on a new foundation, that's what was happening to him. Uh, it was a spiritual crisis, and that when these crises are resolved successfully, you have a saint or a religious leader or so on. And when they're unsuccessful, uh, you have somebody who's uh, maybe crazy and spends the rest of his life in the back wards of a mental hospital. He's failed. Or else he can be stabilized in an unsatisfactory sort of a way. When Boysen got out of the mental hospital, he was already an ordained minister uh, in the Presbyterian church, a very strict Presbyterian upbringing. Uh, he went back and he studied the psychology of religion and was able to get a, become a chaplain in a mental hospital to verify what he had uh, thought he had discovered. A certain insights into what he calls the laws of spiritual life. He thought he had discovered general laws of spiritual life. Then um, he then went and applied, tried to apply the same ideas to a normal parish. He had some students who were, had, had uh, the cure of souls and went with them and started to look at what was going on with all the different people in their congregation to apply it to normal life and discovered that the same sorts of things applied to their uh, that takes place in this book, Exploration of the Inner World, to which you'll have a couple of chapters to look at. Then in the second book, Religious in Christ, Religion in Crisis and Custom, he tried to uh, apply the same ideas um, to religious groups as wholes. Uh, so that's basically what, uh, what Boysen had done. What you have here are the exploration of the inner world, the guidance of the reader, and his introduction. Um, now, Boysen uses um, uh, uh, a lot of uh, insights from a field of study called social psychology. And uh, so you've got an appendix to this book, Technical Terms and Concepts, to let you understand uh, what this uh, means. Social psychology is the notion that the, the, psych the internal structure of the individual mirrors his social structure, that we are fundamentally social beings. And what we are doing, what we are our internal, we have internalized things that are happening in the society at large. So different things um, are actually, uh, for example, basically for boys and salvation means to be accepted into the association of those people whom you esteem most highly. <laughs> 